Back in the day, people either enjoyed the prequels or they didn't. Many of the old generation hated them, but the new generation didn't mind them as much. In fact, the characters from the prequels, such as Anakin, Obi-Wan, the actors that portrayed them, still are near and dear to our hearts. Ewan McGregor was in fact the one actor that we always propped up for his portrayal of Obi-Wan Kenobi. The trolling master, as he was known throughout the years. We always loved his sarcastic tone, he would never get emotionally involved with anyone up until it came to Anakin who betrayed his trust, betrayed the Jedi and became a Sith Lord. This is one of the rare moments where Obi-Wan truly lost his cool, and justifiably so. This is why I think I should warn you guys that we do love Obi-Wan in the prequels, but I don't think we're gonna see the same happy-go-lucky, sarcastic, trolling master Obi-Wan that we saw in the prequels. The Obi-Wan from the series will be much, much different, in my opinion. What else can you expect from 10 years of miserable isolation and knowing that everything you held near and dear to your heart is now gone. Speaking of the past, I definitely think that in the series, we will have some flashbacks here and there. This is why reportedly there will be a de-aging of Hayden Christensen more specifically. And if there's gonna be a de-aging of Hayden Christensen, this means that we will get to see young Anakin again, perhaps the Clone Wars more specifically. Not the Revenge of the Sith and not the Attack of the Clones, but somewhere in the middle. This is pretty interesting because we've never seen a lot. If you think about about it, we've never seen a live action Clone Wars Anakin before. We've seen him in Attack of the Clones, and we've seen him in Revenge of the Sith, and by the ending of the Clone Wars series as we see, that is more or less how Anakin looks in Revenge of the Sith. But what about the middle portion there? I'm saying this because I think the one specific Clone Wars scene will be recreated in the Obi-Wan series. Now you might ask, which Clone Wars scene? I know, I know, Clone Wars has a lot of scenes that we would love to see in actuality and live action in the Obi-Wan series, but this one particular scene was never actually shown in the Clone Wars series as a whole, at least not in a finished capacity. If we're gonna talk about a Disney Obi-Wan series, you already know that by The Mandalorian, by the Boba Fett series and all that, you know that cameos are a dime a dozen. A lot of characters have made it back into live action, a lot of them have come back, a lot of them are new characters, so by now you're gonna know that Ahsoka Tano is already an established character in live action. We first saw her in the second season of The Mandalorian, and now once again we saw her in the book of Boba Fett, conversing with not only Mando again, but with Luke Skywalker as well. Ironically, a de-aged Luke Skywalker. What happened to Luke Skywalker in the book of Boba Fett will actually happen to his father now. Anakin Skywalker will be appearing as his younger self in the Obi-Wan series, at least reportedly. This again came from Making Star Wars, who is reporting that Hayden Christensen could not perform this specific scene, this flashback, in his current form. He had to be probably not heavily de-aged, but at least somewhat, which leads me to believe that it will be around the Clone Wars era. Even if they de-age him for Revenge of the Sith, guys, if you think about it, Revenge of the Sith was now 17 years ago. Of course, a guy would age in 17 17 years. So let's basically talk about it. What is the scene that will be featured with Hayden Christensen being de-aged? Well, believe it or not, this is why I talked about the cameos. I don't think Ahsoka Tano will make a cameo in the Obi-Wan series. That would basically be overkill since she will, she will be appearing in every series, if that's the case, in the Mandalorian series, Boba Fett, and now the Obi-Wan one. So it might happen, might not, but I definitely think that there will be a conversation that was had about Ahsoka Tano that we saw in the unfinished episodes between Obi-Wan and Anakin about Ahsoka leaving the Order, a conversation that they had not had up until that point. You all remember it, you all love it. This is the scene that I'm talking about, the unused Clone Wars scene from the unfinished episodes where you can see kind of raw pre animation, not yet finished. If this scene is recreated in the Obi-Wan series, then it could have a 
devastating effect. This is basically the origin story of how Anakin fell to the dark side. This scene, of course, takes place after Ahsoka Tano's departure from the Jedi Order. This was the at the ending of Clone Wars Season 5, and in this unfinished episode, we see a campfire conversation, basically, between Obi-Wan and Anakin. It was a tense and emotional scene, to say the least. It is a sin that this scene has never made it into proper Clone Wars canon. Anakin expresses his anger and frustration with Ahsoka for leaving the Jedi Order, and as well with the Jedi Order itself for giving her a reason to leave in the first place. Knowing that Anakin can be temporal and emotional, Obi-Wan immediately tries to calm down Anakin's emotion about Ahsoka's departure. And this is where a very, very interesting moment takes place. Something that I think a lot of fans have been thinking about for a long time. And it's all gonna come to a head in the Obi-Wan series. You see, Anakin then, in the end, asks Obi-Wan how would he feel if their relationship had a similar ending. Where Anakin would leave Obi-Wan and basically betray him. Even in unfinished mode, you can see Obi-Wan's worry at this moment moment. He finally says that he wouldn't sleep very well if Anakin ever quote-unquote failed him, but he was very confident as he lay his head that that will never happen. We know, of course, at that time and after this that Obi-Wan is definitely wrong. Anakin will betray Obi-Wan and everything he stood for, and what's worse, he won't just leave Lake Ahsoka and have his own life without devastating effect. He will join the Sith Lord Darth Sidious and destroy everything everything that Obi-Wan holds near and dear to his heart. Destroy the Jedi Order, hunt down every Jedi to extinction. Obi-Wan lays there quietly while we see Anakin's frustrated expression as the scene ends in a haunting tone. Because, of course, the audience knows exactly what's following. They know that this is what will happen. And I think this moment will be recreated in live action in the Obi-Wan series. It has to. This was a key moment in understanding what Anakin had done. Obi-Wan was trying the entire time, even in Revenge of the Sith, to show him his wrongdoings, to show him that he is in the wrong. As Anakin said in Revenge of the Sith, he reiterated to Obi-Wan that he, he in fact, felt betrayed. So it was a difference of opinion that could not bring Anakin back. Perhaps this conversation would do so. If Obi-Wan was to make Anakin remember this particular conversation that they had, where they talked about how Obi-Wan would feel if Anakin ever failed him and abandoned him, this is where the de-aging takes place. This is why Hayden Christensen needs to be de-aged to look like a younger Anakin Skywalker having this conversation with Obi-Wan. Think about it, why else would they de-age Hayden Christensen? I mean, if they're gonna recreate a scene that we saw, that we already saw in Attack of the Clones or Revenge of the Sith, then there's no need for de-aging or specific scenes to that, for that matter. This is a whole original new scene that we've never seen in the movies before, so why not recreate something so epic, so emotional, and so important to the overarching story of Vader versus Obi-Wan again? The rematch will happen, and Obi-Wan will make sure to get into Anakin's head once more, trying to convert him to the light side again, bring him back. This story will be the first step towards bringing him back, I believe, so let me know what do you guys think as well. Am I right or wrong in this? Which scene will be recreated in the Obi-Wan series? I believe that it will be this scene from the unfinished episodes of The Clone Wars, where Obi-Wan and Anakin have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then...